with the Go MRI Man. Spread the knowledge. Motivate the people. Yo, what's up? The MRI Man store is open. Go check it out. The link is in the description. All right, what's up? It's Kwame, a.k.a. MRI Man. And today I have somebody from CNI. It's an MRI school. As a lot of you know, if you follow me on my Instagram, um, we've been getting a lot of negative comments about CNI. So, you know, I decided to bring a special guest. Um, this guest is not revealing their identity or name. And yeah, man, we're going to we're going to find out, you know, from an actual student. Um, of course, everyone's opinions are different. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get into it. So, yeah, thank you. I'm going to just call you Ghost. <laughs> thank you ghost for uh joining me how did you find this school and like how did you decide to go to cni i well i found it on google i just i you know i lost my job when covid came around as a lot of other people did and i took that opportunity to like find something uh in the medical field because i honestly i didn't want to lose my job again you know i wanted security um and uh, I did some research, tried to figure out what I'd be good at, what I would want to do. And I really liked MRI. You know, I wanted to do that. I wanted to pursue it. Um, so I went on Google and mm -hmm. uh, I looked up the one nearest me. Um, I have a child, so I wanted to. There's like there's one in L.A. Um, I think that's is that CBD or NPC, something like that. Um, mm -hmm. But I chose CNI. Uh, I just called them. I did an interview. I went and I looked at their school. Uh, I liked the program. And so I enrolled with them. I think it was more of a convenience thing of it being closer to me. <clears throat> okay. So when you started CNI um, the first couple of months, like how was your experience, you know, those first couple of months with the teachers and the, you know, the whole map? The, the first couple of months were okay. It was all online. Um, mm -hmm. so there was no actual like in-person classroom setting. I, I found that hard personally. Uh, our first class was anatomy, um, anatomy and physiology. And that was mm. okay. Like that teacher was good. You know, I, I did like that teacher. Although if you asked questions, it seemed as though she would get irritated. Um, wow. and with that one, like I, f I felt like so much information was crammed down our throats you know and like and i knew this going into it i knew that okay you're going to a trade school um it's going to be fast paced it's not going to be easy like community college you know when did it start to go like south and you're just like man did i make the right physics. decision okay when you came to physics okay mm -hmm. so tell me about that during this physics were you were you already in clinicals during physics or is it before no clinicals? it is like it was two classes before clinicals um so we did anatomy physiology then we did medical terminology uh, the microbiology all that condensed into one class so there's one class, two class. On everything's online for physics uh the first three were and then it then it did go into the classroom oh, okay. so like during physics that's when we transitioned from um online to in campus um and it was, it was so like physics is just hard in general. It's, True. it's hard. Yes, I mean, there's so definitely. much to it. Um, but what made it even harder and like for me and myself, I am a visual learner. I, I thrive off of someone explaining something to me. Um, our teacher, like, I, I don't know this guy, he would, he would take the two hour breaks. Like he'd be teaching. I feel like mm -hmm. most of us were very confused and lost. Wow. Um, and he wouldn't, he wouldn't go like into depth with things. Uh, he would get cranky if he was questioned, you know, like this guy had mm -hmm. an attitude, he did. Um, and he would legit take like one, two hour breaks. Mind you, we're only there from, oh, what was it? It was like four to, nine maybe or five to nine o'clock we're only there for mm -hmm. a handful of hours and mm -hmm. he would take so much time we would have two breaks and a lunch within a five hour wow. period when five hours wow the majority of the class is not getting it um so 
you know, you have your tests in class. So what's going on? Are people like barely passing? Or there was a handful that were like shining stars. Like love they're really them. Already they're doing great. Yes. They taught themselves. And you know, uh -huh. if you talk to any of them, they will all tell you, I taught myself. This has nothing wow. to do with the school. Okay. Um, and I have mad respect for them because they did it. They pulled through. Mm -hmm. They got amazing scores on their ARRT and all that. Mm -hmm. um, but for the rest of us, uh, it was honestly just like trying to – like he would give us questions uh, during the week that we would test on at the end of the weeks. And also um, there was a lot of material on – uh, what's it called? Quizlet, too. And, like, we found this out in uh, medical terminology. Our medical terminology uh, teacher gave us mm -hmm. answers to one test because he didn't have time to teach it to us. Wow. Like, he ran out of time. So, so he just, just referred test. you guys to Quizlet or something? Like, he yeah. just said, oh, go to Quizlet. Like, wow. here are the answers, basically. Like, he gave us all the answers. Just uh, gave, giving you guys the answers. Okay. I, I so was I was suspecting that. I was suspecting that, you know. They yeah, wanted to you know, keep that. their job. A lot of shady stuff. Like I can see that. Like a teacher not being able to it's ultimately it's a teacher's responsibility to teach the students and to have the grades and the scores up because if I know if the school sees the grades dropping or everyone's failing, mm -hmm. there's there's definitely probably a teacher pro you know, it's probably the teacher and it might get fired yeah. or so yeah Dude, i could see that happening but it just hurts we everybody taking, at the end yeah we were taking a midterm for <laughs> physics and across the room someone's laptop went off and it was the quizlet it was the study it's oh, a study no. set you know how when you click oh. on it, it it will say it out loud to you like wow uh, really? this is okay. an actual image and it just no. voiced out and oh, our teacher pretended God. like he didn't it, see a thing so yeah, they weren't out know. there trying to catch anyone cheating. They're just like it no. kind of looked the other way. And everyone okay. else is everyone else is pissed because it's like, hey, like I studied, I stayed up till four in the morning. I I I let this go. I didn't go to this family function. Um exactly. and meanwhile, like, you know, they're cheating. It's yeah, they didn't care. That school okay. didn't care. You made it through physics. By the hair on my chin, yeah. Barely made <laughs> like, it, made it out stressful time i'm sure people were pissed probably people yeah. shedding tears by and that time people were mad yeah because that was it it's like yeah. you have the so people that are, are working money. their ass off and then you have the other people that aren't doing shit and just you know keep going by uh and then it was medical mm. terminology that i mean i mean sorry not oh. medical terminology um ooh, cross-sectional anatomy okay that class How did that was go? Great. no okay complaints. good that was good. a great okay. class Loved it. Loved the teacher. Teacher nice. was very silly. It was amazing. Like if I could have had all the teachers like that, I think we all would have been really in a better place. You know, how was it finding a clinical site? So this is important. And this is what is a, a problem now is if you are going to school, obviously you're going for the good license, right? You want that ARRT. You want your yes. money's worth. You all the blood, sweat, and tears and effort that you have just dumped into your life, that's the one you want. You don't, For sure. like, no disrespect to Armour. Armour's great, but we all know that ARRT license has a better, uh, more, like, you get better paying jobs with it, just flat out. It's more you know? reputable. It's been around more longer. Reputable. For sure. For sure. Exactly. I mean, everyone knows that. Yep. Exactly. And, uh, and you have to you have to do your mandatory and your elective scans. You have to do uh, roughly thirteen mandatory, ten elective scans to be uh, in compliance with what they require. Um, so, in the process of CNI giving us the opportunity to be able to honestly obtain that license, no, they f they fell so short. When I first okay. went to, when I first got to ex, um, externship, mm -hmm. I was in a site that would get a CTL, the cervical, thoracic, and lumbar, occasional brain, very occasional foot. And wow. um, yeah. And, and that and was it. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Oh, no. uh, those are like those little mom and pop startup MRI shops that, um, 
that they're they're doing it for uh, accident attorney attorneys you know after a month of that uh the lady actually fired all of our licensed techs and it was just students what? running the place no yeah. you're kidding me i am not students? joking you <laughs> I'm not wow joking. okay that's insane so obviously they're doing that to save money because you don't pay students right yeah I mean... well no she was actually this place oh was really students yes she was she interesting was i haven't heard um, of that that's kind of cool <laughs> yeah there was only two uh this one she so she fired the other tech another tech quit um i i said fired all of them actually one quit um wow and this student that i mean mind you like he knew his stuff right so like it was mm -hmm. it was in my eyes it was okay um but uh he was going to take his ART in two weeks. So that's where her like mindset was on this. Like, oh, he's going to be licensed. And he did get licensed. Um, mm -hmm. But during that scenario, I told my school, I'm like, dude, this is not what I paid for. I no. need to be somewhere where I'm seeing more body parts. Like, I am not that's learning right. here. I, you know, they keep taking in all these students. They don't know what to do with them. <laughs> they just keep taking so... everyone's tuition money. And they don't know where to put them. So you finished that. Mm -hmm. okay so you're almost home free home um free. <laughs> so what's what's going on now so you, uh, you're having some trouble with the art or yeah, uh well yeah studying for that okay uh, yeah the studying whole I've, other thing. <laughs> I've done my whole hearted best to to study my butt off the cni is under audit by art because of you know them failing the students like um i don't feel like it's right that these students are placed in these positions because honestly it doesn't matter if you were an a plus student it doesn't matter if you were that student cheating i know for i i, I have strong feelings that a lot of them had fallen short on having honest con competence competencies you know um that's what i was thinking yeah Texts from three years ago are getting calls, um, not calls, wow. but are getting a letter saying Audited. that, yes. They No, they should not be sending somebody to a site where they just do limited scans. Like, And they, they know, know that. So they know that, what they're doing, but that's that's wrong to do that and be like, it oh, just, just sign it off. That's not right. These I mean, people are on their board. These people, I, I believe, are part of their little college board. The Like the first site that I'm referring to. And mm -hmm. I, I feel her pictures up in the hallway as you walk to your class and the college. Wow. Who knows what's going to happen? I mean, maybe a lot of people will get their, um, you know, I'm hoping everyone gets their ART situated, but also maybe people will get some money back or something, man. It might be one of those things where it's just like you look at the owners of CNI, they live in a $7 million house, mind you, mm. you know, now. They have students here that cannot even proceed with their ARRT because it is now on hold if they tested recently. They cannot so even the, go get a job. So the whole, it's like, they don't know when the hold's going to be uplifted. It's just. No, no. And that's when you crazy. Call, yeah. When you call the ARRT is like strictly like hush hush and, and kind of, um, I don't know. Just they don't want to speak on it. They don't want to speak on it. No, nope. just um, ridiculous, man. That I, I can't believe that, dude. Like, I know I would be, I would be pissed off too. That is even people that have their license, you know, they they have they're at risk of losing theirs as well. If you are looking into being an MRI tech, you know, I I would look into a different school at this time. Thank you so much for coming on, and we gotta, you know, stay in touch and, you know, let me know the outcome of this, and I'm hoping everything works out and all the students get what they need because at, at the end of the day i want everyone to succeed especially the people um and you know if cni man if you guys are watching this um you guys you guys gotta take care of your students more and help them get better clinical sites make sure you got a good physics teacher that enjoys their job and loves what they do and want to help these these students because you know we're paying for this a lot of money um, mm -hmm. you know, there's still time for you guys to turn around. You know, I wouldn't, I don't want to see anybody go down, but, um, it ain't right. Um, and we got a lot of people, you know, hit me up about it, but anyway, ghost, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>